Hey guys, Sean here, and welcome to a review of the Soto Road Crew, everyone's favorite wooden railway item based on the beloved character that's been in the series since day one. Oh wait. Hey guys, Sean here, and welcome to a review of the Soto Road Crew, a non-canon item that nobody remembers, and the only reason I'm making a video on this item is because I got it at Sabres for $2, and that nobody else has ever made a video on it on YouTube. So the Soto Road Crew was introduced in 2003 and discontinued in 2006, and that's it. What we are expecting an in-depth backstory on the road crew. So the first part of this item is the rubbish truck. The first thing that you notice is the bright baby blue color. It also has nice detail, like the words Soto Rubbish Co. on the side, right there. And also, in its container, it has nice plastic molded glass cans, paper, and a boot. It can also do this. So the next one is the Street Sweeper. This one actually has two gimmicks. It has a giant brush on the bottom that rotates when you move the wheel like this. It also has liquid on the top, which is supposed to be like soap for the road. A piece of trivia that you may not know is that the Road Sweeper and Trevor are the only road vehicles in the entire range with front magnets. Another piece of trivia that you may not know is that the Soto Rubbish Truck is one of the shortest vehicles to be made. It's about the same size as Scruff, or Millie, or Lady. Overall, the Soto Road Crew is pretty much an unnecessary item in the TWR line, but if you're building a layout and need a background character, or are just nostalgic for learner curve non-canon items, then I recommend getting it. 